these tops don't deserve Bath and Body Works. They deserve Burlington. Hey y'all, so um, yeah, so I just uh, left the park not too long ago. Um, I had to go for a walk just because one is good for me, I need to exercise, and I just need to clear my head. Like, you ever get in those modes where, I don't know, you just feeling really negative, and that's just kind of what what was happening to me like i was in my room all day today just feeling negative and i'm like no i'm shaking this feeling this is not gonna happen like i have no reason to feel negative so why am i feeling negative but it started it started from something that i saw today i'm not gonna put i'm not gonna say no names but it's like i saw something today and it's like it put a negative thought in my head that made me dwell on it literally all fucking day and i'm like this person nor the situation is not mine has nothing to do with me so why am i letting that dictate my day like i don't know i don't know how to describe it like you ever you ever been in a negative environment or seen something or heard something negative and it like altered the way you felt like that's what happened to me today so like i had to go i'm sorry this is a weird you know i know the slide back here but um yeah so that's kind of what happened to me yeah so just a little quick target haul because i did just come out of target so um, i've never had those acai i think that's how you say it i think people say acai but i've never these things the acai bowls i've never had one of these and even though i've never had it it looked good oh i forgot the granola whatever but um yeah i've i've never had one of these before and they look really good so i decided i want to get some packs and make my own i feel like i like it and i mean this is good for me so even if i don't like it i'm gonna eat it because i love fruit regardless so i'm sure it'll be good and then i bought me some strawberries to go with the driscoll that's my favorite brand i heard they did some racist shit i'm not sure what it is but i heard they did some racist shit but child at this point all these damn brands is racist and then I got some raspberries to go on them because I like raspberries. I got mango to go on it because I like mango. And I got a banana. So, yeah, and once I'm done done pregnant, once I'm done being pregnant and I'm settled and stuff like that, I do want to start juicing. So, starting to get into smoothies and stuff like that, I'm guessing this is a good start. I don't know. So, that's what I got. And then something else I got. Now, this is a little TMI part. So just a warning to let you guys know so you know as y'all know we get pregnant so let me know if there's anybody this light is bothering me let me put that up okay that kind of helped so let me know if there's anybody that's been pregnant like i don't want to get too into detail because like you know whatever but like i'm going into my sixth month right and it just seems like my vagina like me and her we not in tune no more like i don't know she we used to be real in tune she was real low maintenance but it seemed like i need a little more a little more nowadays so i went and i got some stuff so i've been hearing about the honey pot um this is what it looks like i heard she's black on and it's a plant-based feminine hygiene line so i'm very very sensitive down there so when i say like she's low maintenance it doesn't take much because i'm very sensitive so i don't really need much but i feel like now that i'm pregnant and my body is not under normal circumstances she acting a fool like she i don't know she's just acting different if you've ever been pregnant and you've gone through what i'm going through then i'm hoping you guys know what i'm talking about but yeah she's acting really different so i got the sensitive foaming wash um i got the sensitive kind because i am sensitive they did have other um other what am I saying? Other flavors, other scents. They had other scents, but I just decided to get the sensitive one. And I also got these down there wipes. I don't know if you guys know who Vicky Logan is, but she always talks about these. And she's always someone who's really big on like natural body products and stuff like that. And she's always talking about like vagina care and stuff. So she's really um, an advocate for this brand and this is a natural brand as well. So yeah, and like I'm gonna take these, like these are good for you know when I'm on the go cause not only am I pregnant and shit, but it's hot as 
fuck outside so you know that causes more sweat and stuff like that so i started i'm gonna start these two i used to carry these but i feel like as i got older i got more sensitive and the summer eve ones that i was using in college just stopped working for me so i stopped using it all together but now like i said my body is not under the same circumstances that it's under so i feel like i need a little bit more and if any of you guys have been pregnant and you guys can identify with what I'm talking about and you have some product recommendations, I mean, let me know what you guys used or methods that you use to clean, new methods. Let me know. Um, we do have like a detachable shower head, so I get to the end. But I feel like, <laughs> I feel like nowadays I just need, you know, just a little more. Like, I'm finna say something else, it's TMI, so be prepared. But I also feel like being pregnant and having sex is different too when it comes to like cleaning and stuff like that. So I feel like, I don't know, I just, I don't know. I need a little bit more. So yeah, that's what I'm getting from Target. So I'm on my way home now. I'm ready to take a shower because it's hot outside still. I'm funky because I just worked out and stuff like that. Starbucks was closed, so I was sad about that. But yeah, I'm about to head back to the crib. Um, I did get some candles, so I'm gonna show you guys my candles when I get back home. But yeah, I'll see you guys when I get home. Y'all, do y'all remember this girl? Her name is Isis Brown. Like y'all gotta remember her from like back in the day she from like oh youtube and she did some touch my body by mariah carey right here <laughs> and i don't know what baby search her name okay excuse me this is a maintenance okay if the camera need to focus this is a maintenance vlog so I, i'm um getting myself together so i just took my braids out because i just took my quick weave out so yeah i'm about to wash my hair but i'm sitting here i don't know i just started thinking about her and like i just remember as a kid i used to laugh at her like and she's so serious but now that i'm grown this is fucking confidence like me seeing this video makes me so happy because this girl during the time she was doing this she was in high school so i know that this took a lot of courage for her to do and she ain't give a fuck she was just having fun like she just said like a boy from her third period class requested her to do um to dance to touch my body so it's just like she just literally having fun. I mean, she's serious. Don't get me wrong, baby girl. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, baby girl is is dead ass serious. You saw the down part. She said, "I will hunt you down, touch my body." It like she dead ass, like real ass performing in her house. But it's just like back then, like she didn't give a fuck, like. This is what she likes to do. And it makes me sad because back then, YouTube wasn't like, you want people weren't making money off YouTube. So it's like, she wasn't doing this like, on some money shit. You know, people nowadays make a fool of themselves and do anything for money, especially on YouTube. But back then, like, she was just enjoying herself. And I don't know, like, I feel bad for like, laughing at her. I mean, I was a kid, so I wasn't thinking like that back then. But it's just like, that is confidence. Like, to go to school, I'm sure she got, bullied or flagged for it. you know people saying shit but she ain't give a fuck she put on her makeup and she get in front of this camera and she dance bitch look at this she ooh, she was on the floor with it look at that the roll period i don't know y'all that was random but um yeah so i ain't introduced myself so if you're new here my name is leah um subscribe all that shit y'all my channel is like doing so well and it's like scaring me but i'm grateful and i'm grateful for you guys but yeah i'm about to wash my hair because tomorrow i'm going to go get my hair braided again so i could do me another quick weave because i need another one put in i put oh y'all let me tell y'all okay i really been mia from this vlog for like going on a week like I had a whole different direction this vlog was gonna go in, but I changed my mind. So I'm gonna start it over. But y'all, my grandmother passed away. So in the, the clip you saw before, 
when I was um, leaving Target. When I got home that night, I found out she passed away. She was very blessed. She lived to be 96 years old. Her birthday was yesterday, which was Saturday. She would have been 97 and she died, I believe, Monday. I believe, yeah, Monday or Sunday of last week. So she was very blessed. So, you know, we all, you know, were sad and stuff like that. But it's just, she lived a full life. And, you know, when people get older and they don't, they're not living anymore, they're just at home in the bed, just waiting for somebody to bring them something to eat every day, all day, bathing them and shit like that. That's not living. And she's been living that way for years. Not that she's been sick. She had a heart attack maybe about. I was like a freshman in high school, so maybe about, I don't know how long ago that was, maybe about 10, eight years ago, she had a heart attack, but other than that, like, she's been pretty, after her heart attack, it's kind of when she had to have, like, caregivers and stuff, so, yeah, just think, eight years of not doing shit, honestly, so, she was ready to go home like that was used to be her biggest thing like i'm ready to go home she missed her husband she hasn't seen her husband her husband died when my mom was 15. my mom is 51 52 now so she's been lived a long life without her husband she has a son that died and all of that jazz so she was ready to go home she was ready to be with the lord so i just know that she's at peace and i know she's happy i know she enjoyed her birthday with her husband and all of that type of stuff so you know it was emotional for us because you know it's a death you know what i'm saying and she lived for so long like she outlived everybody like everybody used to take care of her my battery time so i'm gonna wrap this up but she lived for so long and we never thought this day would come like we knew it would come but damn it came so yeah so i just took a break and i'm just you know spending time with my family getting prepared for her she's actually being cremated she's not being buried because well number one is covid so funerals is kind of odd right now and y'all i'm telling you she outlived everyone the only people that's left is us <laughs> We just had a birthday party for her and caught a day because she's being cremated. A funeral, y'all, nobody would have been there. <laughs> Everyone's dead. <laughs> I'm, like, I know that's it. I'm not trying to laugh, but literally, everyone's dead. So, yeah. Um, yeah, so that's what's been going on with me. But I'm about to wash my hair and I'm going to talk to y'all. I'm going to talk to y'all. Hey, y'all. So, it's like way, way way later so i got my hair braided today but i haven't done my hair so when i woke up this morning i blew my hair out because i washed my hair last night and then i went and got my hair braided and then i went to the nail shop because i got my brows done i feel like they don't look like it well they do can't really see because the shadow but got my eyebrows arch and i also got my lashes done so in my nail shop People always come and get their lashes done. And I'll be back and I'm like, how did I get them done? But apparently what the lady does, she does like strip lash. Um, what am I trying to say? Like strip lash, not placement, application. And I'm guessing like whatever glue she uses is supposed to like last long. So I was like, fuck it. I'm just gonna try it. So this is what they look like up close i thought i wanted something natural <laughs> because i didn't know like how it was gonna look or you know how i was gonna like it because i've never ever gotten my lashes done ever my little sister she's addicted to that shit she stay getting her lashes done she always talking about how she need a feel and all that shit at least i know with this when it's time for my lashes to come off and when it's lifting i could just take it off but that needing to feel and it be holes in the lashes and shit I don't got time for that type of maintenance at least not right now so yeah they were only ten dollars so that was way better to me well not better cheaper than getting my lashes done especially since I never had them done but I don't have no irritation they don't itch or anything and I mean I think it's a cute little look so I want to let you guys know because I went to Target and I know I told you guys I bought some candles so I'm gonna show y'all my candles oh and y'all see that my bundles they up there <laughs> I just uh, dyed them jet black and washed them. I did the watercolor method and it worked. So, um, yeah, they're up there drying off. But I'm going to show you my candles because they're right here. Y'all, I'm in my bathroom because this is the only place that has, like, the counter space for me to sit stuff on. And the lighting is better in here than it is in my entire house. So, they had a candle sale, girl, like, weeks ago. 
when was this this invoice on the invoice date it says for 8 13 so yeah yeah so august 13th is when they had their candle day it's now august 31st well it's like two in the morning so it's september 1st now happy september do y'all feel like september is gonna be a weird month i feel like september is gonna be a crazy month but stay prayed up and you'll be fine but okay so i'm not gonna take these candles out because let me tell you guys a story well not a story but let me tell you guys something so when i saw that they were having a candle sale this is kind of like a manifestation gift not gift purchase to myself so i'm not gonna open these candles or use them until i get into my own place because this house don't deserve bath and body works they deserve burlington um <laughs> but yeah so i'm not gonna open these candles i'm gonna keep them in the box i'm gonna keep them in this packaging for when i move you know hopefully that that's soon i don't want to move until I have my baby though because i'm six months now so i'm only three months um you know from giving birth and i just don't want to deal with that type of adulting right now like i don't know what god's gonna do for me in that department i'm saving my money i'm trusting in him but and not even saying that my moving process will be difficult i'm praying that it won't be but it's still adulting it's still signing papers it's still getting my giving my money away it's still back and forth it's still all of that shit. and while i'm pregnant I just don't want to deal with it so i'm gonna wait until i have my baby to uh, move officially but yeah but nothing is set in stone so we're still manifesting with the tr trusting in god so y'all say y'all prayers for me and y'all niece but yeah but like i'm saying i'm not opening i'm not opening these candles until i move so the set that i got i got pumpkin pecan waffles and it smells so good i've always heard about this but I've never um, smelt it for myself and I've never gotten it. But it smells so good. It's such a sweet, like warm scent. And I'm not really into really sweet candles like that, but that one, bomb.com, it smells so good. Just me holding it and waving around. So I'm sure when it burn, bitch, fire. Okay, so I also got French lavender. I love the way this smell, y'all. I love lavender candles. I love lavender scents. I love a lavender candle after you're done cleaning. Like, the way that lavender mixes in with your cleansers, you know how, like, the vibe of a clean-ass house? This just heightens it. Lavender scents just smell so good along with cleansers. Like, it's so calming. It's so refreshing to me. I don't know. But it's a French lavender, so it's like a hint of... Uh, a little hint of vanilla in it but perfect like perfect it's like the perfect lavender scent so i love to burn a lavender candle after i'm done cleaning like y'all if you haven't tried it trust me it's a vibe and then i got the mahogany teakwood intensity everybody loves this loves this candle it smells like a good smelling man um <laughs> I mean, I really do. I like it too. I feel like it's a good, like, maybe bathroom or more bedroom scent. I probably wouldn't put this out, like, in the living room, but in my bedroom, it's a go for sure. Like that, along with the smell of. Never mind. Um, and then I also got Marshmallow Fireside. People rant and rave about this scent. And I mean, it smells good, but I don't really see the hype around it. I mean, it smells good, but I guess I would need to get the full effect of smelling it while it's burning. It has toasted marshmallow, smoldering woods, roasted vanilla, crystallized amber with essential oils. So, yeah. Marshmallow Fireside. That's bitches love Marshmallow Fireside. So you know I guess I should be bitches. I mean, let me stop cursing. Girls like the Marshmallow Fireside. So I'm trying to like the girls. Hey y'all. So it is a couple days later. So I'm getting ready to go. Oh y'all look. These are my brows. I tinted them. I did a brow tinting video, but honestly, y'all ain't really fucking with it. But it's cool. I think y'all like vlogs. I think that's what y'all like. So if I was to ever do something like that again. I may just have to put it in a vlog because it's like y'all ain't really fucking with that video. I mean some of y'all watched it, but some of y'all ain't fucking with it. So if you haven't watched it, go watch it. If not, it's cool. I'm gonna just <laughs> keep trying for y'all. But yeah, so I tinted my brows the other day. Um I really like how they came out. You guys can see. 
I really like how they came out. Um, just, just the footage on that video was bad because like my camera settings was like off and I couldn't I thought that it was just the lighting but it really was my settings so that's why I was looking like blue and stuff like that but I fixed it today so I think we should be cool but right now I'm getting ready to go because I'm gonna meet my friend Aura for a, for a lunch today and we was gonna go to um this place called Asian City like a little asian food place but um i didn't want to do that i didn't i don't know it's friday i never get out the house nobody ever wants to go with me nowhere well it's not that y'all i don't got no friends <laughs> but, but me and aura been meaning to get together for like the longest but then like she thought she had coronavirus i think she thought she had coronavirus and i just been busy and then my grandmother passed away and i just I honestly trying to do videos and be consistent has really like had me occupied because like this shit is not like i mean it's easy but it's not like it takes a lot of work and it takes a lot out of you so you know just been being busy with that but i was like breast friday like you know and bitch oh, it's beyonce's birthday okay we'll talk about that later because she need a whole little segment but um yeah it's beyonce birthday too so i can't be in the house on beyonce birthday so we're about to go to this restaurant called plush um if you in houston if you anywhere in the north side of houston i'm sure you know what that is um yeah because i just wanted to like be i mean of course i can't drink but i just wanted to be in a different atmosphere i didn't want to just sit at a table and look into each other's eyes and all that shit <laughs> I wanted to be like in a more, you know, upbeat environment. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just doing me a little face, you know, a little 10 minute, a little 10 minute beat. Nothing too crucial because I mean, it's just plush, it's not that deep. But yeah, I just wanted some good food, girl, and just be in a, a good atmosphere, listen to some music, you know. Hopefully, they playing Beyonce in that bitch. <laughs> Hopefully. So yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. That's what I'm doing today. And of course, I'm going to take you guys along with me. Um, yeah. Doing my brows is a little faster now that I did tint them. Like, doing them is, like, way easier. That's going to be my new thing, though. Because I love the way, like, it looks. Like, the tint plus me having them arched. But that whole little lashes thing, that was a flop. <laughs> that was a flop. I could have did that. That really... I literally... Low key, y'all, I tried to make myself feel better about it. But I literally paid $10 for some damn half stole lashes to be applied to my face. And I can't believe she be finessing. Well, not finessing, because I mean, hey, some girls don't know how to put on their lashes. But I can't believe she be really making money. Like, bitches be back there all the time talking about some lashes. They be like, is Tina here? Yeah, she's here. What she want? Lashes. And this is what they be back there getting. Y'all be getting some damn strips applied. See, I knew better, but it's like once I agreed to it, I didn't want to go back on what I agreed to. But I knew better. Girl, I could have popped my own damn strips <laughs> like I'm about to do today. But it's cool. It's a learning experience or whatever. But yeah, I hope you guys are doing okay. I mean, it's September 4th, so it's Beyonce's birthday. It's a beautiful day outside. I mean, duh. She wasn't going to have the weather looking shitty on her birthday. Fuck. in the age. So, yeah, y'all. If y'all didn't know, and anybody that's new... I'm, I am a Beyonce fan, okay? I'm not delusional, but I kind of am. You know what I'm saying? It was a hectic morning this morning because, girl, I had to drop off the cake to Miss Tina and Blue this morning, and it was fucking late. Like, first of all, I understand, you know, y'all got a lot going on because of the party tonight, but, baby, we had an appointment. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was waiting out there for a minute, and they was late. But it's okay. She got the cake or whatever like that. She was satisfied with how it looked. She just left me in charge to like, you know, designing and stuff. So she was satisfied. It was a good size. Everything was cool. So I'll see them later on tonight. But um, as of right now, I'm going out to eat with my friend. So yeah. Yeah, it's Beyonce's birthday. So we Beyonce all day. They better be playing Beyonce and Plush. They better. I'm a request. And I don't want to hear that fucking family song that she uh, requested. I mean, I requested that she, uh, <laughs> I don't want to hear that family song that she played. <laughs> I mean, that she made. I need to hear some real, some real Beyonce. You dig what I'm saying? Y'all, yes, brother Brown Tint. Y'all, that is my shit. Y'all, if y'all didn't, okay. 
if you didn't watch the video it's okay because i know in the first like couple minutes of the video the footage is like blurry and it's because i don't have a monitor yet and the my how my setup is my camera is a little far from me so if anyone wants to you know donate a monitor to me or buy me one um let me know and i'll give you my address and you know we can get it popping you <laughs> put it on your monitor so i can see i'm gonna use some strobe cream today got a glow like beyonce Period. okay you guys so i'm done with my makeup it took me about 15 minutes to do but y'all i love my lip combo i came up with so i recently just went to the beauty spot store hold on let me find it where it's at y'all i need to clean this desk so bad like it looks girl it's like eyelashes and shit and eyelash wrappers and papers and hair glue and beard dye and just too much <laughs> on this table okay i can't find it right now but i hold on pause pause Leah, pause okay y'all so I, I went and i bought this lip gloss because i was like i want like that pink nude and this is what it gave it to me y'all so i used if y'all care y'all ain't asked but if y'all care so i went so this beauty supply well everything besides one um this is ruby kisses perfect precision lip liner girl these be a dollar and they be super creamy and this is in the color <laughs> it don't say on the actual package uh i'm a flop never mind y'all i'm a flop okay but look if you could find a brown like this not like a chocolate brown more of like a i don't know i think it was called girl i can't tell you but this is the brown okay find you a brown lip liner like this okay boom then i put fussy fenty fussy uh, lip gloss and then i also have um this is baby cakes this is baby cakes by la colors this was like a dollar and then i also used my lip plumper the Too faced lip plumper just to you know Give me a little extra, you know, until I get my lips done. Y'all, I can't wait till I be able to afford to get my lips done. Okay, you heard it here. Well, you ain't really hear it here first because I said this like a year or two ago. And when I do my vlog of me getting my lips done, I'm going to make sure I put that clip in there so motherfuckers will be like, oh my God, you changing. No, bitch. I've been saying this. But that's irrelevant. So I'm about to put my shoes on and stuff, put my perfume and all that good stuff on. And I'm about to head out. And I will see you guys probably in the car because we finna have a little Beyonce concert. And that's just on what? That's just on motherfucking period. Y'all, y'all want to know a fun fact about this song? So when I was in the fourth grade, y'all, <laughs> I never participated because I was a little too shy. But we used to battle dance. Like if somebody, if a girl had a problem with a girl, they used to like battle dance it out. Like, <laughs> like we was on a fucking movie or some shit. So they used to battle dance, and we used to see check up on it. Like you know, we didn't have phones and speakers and shit back then. It was only one girl in the fourth grade who had a pink razor. I forgot what her name was. I think her name was Ashley. I wonder if she's still like a spoiled bitch to this day. Like you know, she was spoiled back then. So I wonder now that she grown, if she got a nigga spoiling her, like or is she going out sad, like what? But anyways, um, we used to um. Yeah, she used to play it on her phone and we used to all sing it so everybody could hear it. Bitch, Beyonce been a part of my life. Beyonce been a part of your life. All of our lives, our whole life. You cannot tell me she's not that bitch. How the fuck you be around my whole life? Like, and I have a niece that's like, she's about to turn 13. 13 in September, she about to, y'all, okay. Y'all on the side of the road, but y'all really not on the side of the road. But anyway, she about to turn 13. Um, She about to turn 13 this month. And her favorite song when she was a baby was Single Ladies. Like, y'all got my bitch fucked up. Okay, y'all. So, I'm done eating lunch with my friend. Girl, I couldn't even vlog that. Because we was just talking our ass. Like, we were just having our moment. Like, Aura. It's my bitch, period. She already know. But, yeah, that was cool. We, I had a lot of fun. It felt good to get out the house and just be around somebody else for once besides myself so <laughs> um yeah but now time has passed and i'm done with that so oh shit <laughs> excuse me that was dirty so y'all know in the other vlog 
I was telling y'all about my spin a night bag. So somebody commented on that video the other night and they was like, I'm sorry, Leah, but we put out that bag, I died. And I was like, bitch, I still got that bag. <laughs> I still haven't got a new one. Cause you know, like, um, you know, like when, uh, I always do this. Y'all always forget what I'm about to tell y'all right while I'm talking. But you know, I don't even know. Either way it go, y'all, we are Ross. <laughs> I don't know what I was about to say before that, but we are Ross. And we about to see if we can get us a new bag. Because, bitch, I don't know who the hell she is with that drawstring. But she ain't me. So, hmm, period. And then I have to. I need to go drop off. I need to go drop off. Um... Her ass is fat, good God. But um, I have to go drop off my vitamin D prescription because, ew, y'all, look at the fucking birds. Oh, fuck no, I hate birds. Get get, get y'all ugly asses away. Oh, oh my God, no. Okay, sorry, y'all. I hate birds, like, they fucking disgusting. Like, I can understand chickens and shit, but I don't know where the fuck y'all come from. But anyways, I need to go drop off my vitamin D prescription because I um, have to take a pill a week and I'm out of my pills. It's a new month, so I need to refill it. So I need to go do that. And I have to change my insurance because I need to go to a blood doctor. And the insurance I was using, don't it's not going to work for me having to go to a blood doctor. So I have to change it. But the insurance car finally came in the mail yesterday. So now I can go handle all that business. And then... After I do that, I'm going to my nigga house, period. These bags are a flop. They not cute. So we're leaving. It's crazy, y'all. I was just walking and I forgot all about my mask. And it was like, you got a mask, you got a mask. I was like, oh shit, I got one here for you. Okay, y'all. So I ended up finding me a bag. I went to Dee Dee's. It's okay, it's not the cutest, but she cute, she better than that drawstring. I went and opted for another backpack cause I kinda liked the whole backpack situation. So this is what she looked like y'all. Real white girl type shit, but I liked it because it's a big bag. Like she deep and I need this. And on top of that, she got compartments. You feel me? She got compartments. You know what I'm saying? I'm a bitch, I come with a lot of shit like I be bringing my laptop over there. <laughs> I be bringing my laptop to edit. Baby, I be having multiple outfits cause you know, you just never know if it's a brunch type day, if it's a chill day, like you just never know. So I be having to be prepared. My makeup, everything can fit in here. Like I was, I wanted to get like the cute, y'all know like the little leather, kind of like the um mcm replica like not the print but you know the style but that bag don't have no compartments and a bitch like me need compartments so boom we got us a new bag y'all she okay she ain't the cutest but i just like it's a dark purple so she won't get dirty too quick you know she do what she needs to do so yeah but y'all i have to pee when we were at the restaurant all i was drinking was water I had one Sprite though, but all I was drinking other that was water and like I had to pee. I had to pee and it's like I went to the restroom there twice and it's like as soon as I sat down I had to use the restroom again and then um, after I had to use the restroom again, what happened? I went home to go get my laptop because he needed it for something and um, yeah I went home to go get my laptop and then uh where not why does it keep happening to me oh and now i gotta pee again why did i forget that y'all pray is it i heard like when you're pregnant you have like um like pregnancy brain where it makes you forget stuff is that what i'm going through because y'all i be in the middle of talking to y'all and i always forget what i'm saying but we finna continue this beyonce concert right now I have moved from Writings on the Wall and I'm gonna go back to Destiny's Child but we moved into her first album which is Dangerously in Love, okay, period. So, we're gonna get back to that. I kinda already played all my favorite songs but I think I'm gonna replay them because, you know, that's just what we're about to do. So... There is no one So this album, uh, Dangerous in Love came out in 2000, 
2003. So let me see. My sister, my little sister was three. So I was four, five, six. I was seven years old, y'all. So for Father's Day, I did a dance. <laughs> I did a ribbon dance <laughs> for Father's Day. My mom recorded to this song, Daddy by Beyonce. I'm telling you, my bitch been a part of my life, my whole life. I ain't no lemonade ass bitch. It's just my bitch. It's like, ooh, y'all. Record vlogging and driving for me is dangerous because I'll be ready to fuck somebody up. But um, bitch, I'm getting, I be getting emotional because this is, this is my bitch. 